So this bhakti rasa, my point is, is full of this wonder. And it's just the same rasa sar chamatkar, or the essence of the experience of bhakti rasa is this feeling of sacred wonder. So they protect your wonder, take care of your sacred wonder. Nowadays, world which sometimes externally, superficially seems to provide us with constant sense of wonder, but it's in a very predictable way. No? Well, let's see what, what's new message. Is there someone, oh, wow, what the, the new publication? But that's not Chamatkar, that's not wonder. <laughs> because that's operating on a very predictable, unlimited framework when you are just moving in on, on a very superficial le level of reality. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we take reality for granted and we become more and more uh, Mechan mechanical in our how to say and our traversing the path so and we lose the sense of wonder it's interesting if you pay attention to nowadays to the world all these facilities of course I'm not against technology I mean you, you can just see in front of me <laughs> but it's a fine line potentially technology is wonderful but potentially it can be hell uh, it's not intrinsically it's not favorable nor unfavorable so in our tradition we always make this uh, and I'm going to your answer it's just a little bit of context <laughs> in our tradition we we may emphasize this you now there are certain favorable things to do unfavorable things to reject now there are certain things that are not unfavorable nor favorable like social media that's not necessarily favorable that's not necessarily unfavorable. It depends how you deal with that, that it will be favorable or unfavorable. So it's not so much about what to do, what not to do, but how to do something that potentially can be whether one thing or the other. So, and nowadays people have so many more facilities than in other ages, if you will, or times. People is generally more, much more bored than before full of predictability, not having too much creativity, just trapped into particular, very limited options. So sense of wonder is retiring. And the more you retire sense of wonder in one sense, the more life stops, stops having meaning. I mean, you enter into nihilism, you say in English, nihilism. There's no purpose. No purpose is another way of saying no sense of wonder. Because you do so many things, but it's, there's no real motivation, if you will. Mm -hmm. So again, Bhakti Rasa is for us the ultimate goal of life, which implies you are thrown forever in a constant pool of wonder. <laughs> so, 